Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn what is the difference between inner text property and inner HTML property. I already created a video about inner text versus text content property. Link of that video will be in the description. So let's get started with this video. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to our style sheet. Have the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. We need one container, one div element with two buttons. It will be inner text, just copy and paste, and it will be inner HTML. We need one div element, give it a class of content, and these two buttons will have an ID. This one will be BTN text. And this will be btn html i'll save it go to style sheet select the container and the content class display will be flex flex direction will be column justify content will be center align items will be center select the content class Margin top will be 10 pixels. Padding will be 10 pixels. Width will be 50%. Minimum height will be around 100 pixels. Border will be 1 pixel solid black. Select the button element padding will be 10 and 20 margin will be 5 pixels outline will be none now just save it open this file in the browser and this is the output now let's try to understand what will actually happen here on the click of this inner text button I will set some content as a text here and on the click of this inner HTML, I will set some content as a HTML code. So let's go to script file. Select both the buttons and the div element. So it will be document.query selector. ID is BTN text. Just copy and paste. In this case, it is HTML. Same goes here. Select the div element. So let's give it content. And it got a class of content. So we'll use that one as a selector. We need some string to set as a text or as a HTML code. So let's create that string here. We'll use backticks. It will be some random string. Let's use HTML tag here. So let's make it strong. Just cut and paste here. Also, we are going to use paragraph element. Here we'll have an image tag. And the source will be this. So in this string, we are having a p tag, we are having a strong tag, and we are also having a image tag. So let's add event listener to these two buttons. Event will be click. This will be the handler function. Just copy and paste. Make it HTML. Now as you already know, to set the inner text, we'll make use of inner text property here. And it will be equal to my string. Just copy and paste. It will be inner HTML. Okay. This link will basically give you a random image, which will have a size of 400 by 400. Now just save it. Go to browser. 
now pay a very close attention here on the click of this button you will get the content as a plain text but in case of inner html you will get the content as a html code click on inner text you can see we are getting a p tag here image tag strong tag but it's not a html it's a plain text if you want to get the html then you have to make use of this inner html property click on this you can see the tags are working and we are getting a image this is the only difference between inner text and the inner html i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day